Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, so let's talk about the red eye correction tool. Now, red eye is caused basically when you have a flash that's on camera or in a really close position to the lens. And what happens is when you fire the camera, that light goes directly into a person's eye and it bounces around the inside of the retina where all the, the blood vessels are that are basically nourishing the eye. And because there's so many blood vessels, it reflects red light and that red light comes back out of the camera and gets recorded. And that's what creates those freakishly red pupils of your eye. Now, when you guys are using kind of off-camera lighting or even when you're using a hot shoe mounted flash, it greatly reduces the likelihood that you're going to see red eye in your images. In fact, there wasn't a single image in our entire database of images that had red eye because we're most often, whenever we're shooting, we're using bounce flash or uh, if we are shooting direct flash, it's from a hot shoe mounted flash and so we're not ever getting red eye in our images. So I selected this image just to uh, illustrate how you'd actually use the red eye correction tool if you do have red eye. But if you guys are shooting on professional cameras with hot shoe mounted flashes and you're doing off camera lighting and all that kind of stuff, you're really not going to see it in your images anyway. Mainly you're only going to see it when you're using basically a point and shoot that has your flash mounted right over the lens. Now because it's not a problem that we're frequently dealing with, there's actually no hotkey to get to the red eye correction tool. So you actually just have to select it from this actual tool bar right here. So we're just going to select red eye correction and so what we're going to do is just hold shift to zoom in. We're just going to click over where the red eye would be and I can adjust this smaller so that basically I'm just mousing up and down. So all we're going to do is click over the area where red eye would be uh, and we're going to adjust the size so that it basically matches the size of the pupil. When we click, it's going to pull out the red eye, or in our case, it's going to give us a little warning that says unable to find red eye. So this is how it works. You just click on that area with this tool, same thing on this side. Uh, and if there is red eye, it will actually pull it out of the image. And it does a fairly good job of it as well. So it's a very simple tool. It's really easy to use. And if you need to adjust red eye out of an image, just remember that your red eye tool is in the adjustment toolbar right here. All right, so let's go on to the next tutorial.